I don't know about this place, Bill. I hear they really get after it. I couldn't fathom the idea that this man is just sitting there about to die and nobody would help him. Shannon Martin saved a man's life, a man she didn't even know. And when you hear what this Meridian woman did, you'll understand why she's our seventh hero. Would you be willing to give a part of your body away to save someone you've never met? Shannon did. She donated her kidney to a man she saw on TV. He needed help, and she came to his rescue without a second thought. Here is her incredible story of giving in this week's Seven Zero. Shannon Martin had no idea watching an episode of the Dr. Phil show I was just watching it. would change her life forever. I've been a diabetic for 20 years. It was about this man, Daryl Neal of California. He had been on dialysis for seven years and desperately needed a kidney transplant. But family members weren't willing to donate. I was irritated, just mad that his family wouldn't help. And I, I can't not fathom the idea of not helping my own family or a friend. I think they were just scared. You know, and Daryl doesn't hold any grudges against him. He understands. And these people were so, so sweet and they were so nice and just, my heart broke for him. Shannon had actually tried to donate a kidney 10 years ago to someone she knew, but at the last minute, a cadaver donor became available. Fast forward 10 years. I see Daryl on the Dr. Phil show. I went to the website. Daryl was a complete stranger, but she didn't care. She wanted in. They send you a whole stack of paperwork. You have to be mentally sound, physically sound. After extensive testing, Shannon was deemed a match for Daryl, a man she had never met. It was a go. He was extremely overwhelmed with the fact that this was, couldn't be for real. But it was real. In August, she traveled to San Diego and checked into Scripps Green Hospital for the surgery. I was a little scared, a little nervous. So I go in, and then 30 minutes later, he goes in. And then they have, I have my own surgeon, and he has his own surgeon, and then they have a kidney specialist that goes with the kidney, which it, wherever it goes. I was surprised it was not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. The surgery was laparoscopic, and the doctor was actually able to salvage her beloved New York Yankees tattoo near the incision site. Daryl was up and around before she was. The transplant was a big success. He walked to my room the next day. Yeah. He walked in. He walked in. Now Shannon considers Daryl and his family her family. I'm in contact with him via phone, Facebook, text. Daryl calls his new kidney. Little Shannon. She calls him all the time to check in. Hey, how you doing? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm doing real good. <laughs> I feel great. I'm just doing everything that I couldn't do before. Daryl told us how he felt when he found out Shannon wanted to give him this gift. I couldn't believe it. I thought that was the greatest thing. I, I was wondering what kind of people is in Idaho. <laughs> he can't say enough about Shannon and how he feels about her. Oh, yeah, she's a lifesaver. I can never thank her enough. I can never do it. I love these people. I consider them family. One question she gets a lot, what happens if she needs a kidney one day? I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. I, I can't worry about that. It was an amazing experience. I'd do it again. Shannon hopes sharing her story will help spread the word about living kidney donation. If I can reach one person to say, oh my gosh, it's not that hard, I could do it. It would be worth it. I mean, all of this would be worth it. Shannon Martin. The right one came along, and it happened for a reason. Seven zero. Isn't she amazing? For more information on living kidney donation, what Shannon did, go to our homepage on KTVB.com and click on the hot link section. And if you have an idea for a seven zero, someone who's making a difference like Shannon did, email me and let me know about it. Doug? Yeah, it's one of those stories, Maggie, that makes you think, what would I do in yeah, that situation? She is